Hi, I'm Laura from Twinkle and I'm here to share my top tips for supporting autistic children in your classroom. Autism or Autistic Spectrum Disorder is a lifelong developmental disability which affects how people communicate and interact with the world. More than one in every 100 people of the population are autistic, which equates to 700,000 adults and children in the UK. So here are my five top tips for supporting autistic children in the classroom. Autism is a spectrum. This means that although children can share common characteristics and traits, everyone is unique and different. Strategies that work for one autistic child may not always work for another. Spend time working with the individual child and the staff that are involved with them to discuss their needs. Really get to know the child. Many autistic children have specific interests. Try to incorporate their interests into your lessons. During play, use their interests and follow their lead. Allow them to show you what they are interested in and how they want to play. Talk to parents and carers and ask them to share their knowledge. Building a relationship with parents and carers is essential for success. Try to celebrate small steps when they are achieved. These small steps can be different for each child. Ultimately, it's important to find support strategies that suit each individual child, rather than trying to fit the child to a support strategy. Use visual support. Visual support refers to using a picture or other visual item to communicate with a child. Visual supports can be photographs, drawings, symbols, objects, written words or lists. Visuals can help to make verbal information more meaningful for autistic children. Some autistic children have difficulties with organisation. It's really important to let children know what is happening and when. Visual timetables, now with next cards, and other visual clues can help when transitioning from one activity to another. Visual support can help children to understand what to expect and reduce anxiety. Autistic children can sometimes have difficulties understanding and following spoken language and instructions. Visual support can help staff to communicate what is expected of children through the use of simple symbols such as good listening, Autistic children may need support to interact with others in daily activities. They may find it difficult starting a conversation or responding to others. Visual supports can help to teach social skills and can be used in various social situations. For example, a word list of simple conversation starters. However, autistic children should not be pressured into interacting and should be treated as individuals. Use effective communication. Your use of language and the way that you communicate with children is extremely important. Ensure that you have the child's attention before sharing any verbal information. Try to address the child directly. For example, Laura, can you hang up your coat? Autistic children may not notice that you are talking to them unless you use their name. However, do not insist or pressure autistic children into giving eye contact. Break down instructions into shorter chunks and give them one by one in the order that the child needs to follow them. If you are asking questions, make sure that you give children the time to process the information and give them time to respond. Ask the children to repeat back instructions to check on their understanding. Instructions can also be supported using visuals. Try to use concrete language. Autistic children can take what is said literally. For example, I will be with you in a minute can be misinterpreted. Children might expect you to be there within the minute and if you're not, this can have a negative impact. To limit misunderstanding, say, I will be with you as soon as I have finished this task. Autistic children can find it difficult to read social and non-verbal clues. They may also misinterpret the use of sarcasm, irony and humour. It's important to get to know the individual child so that you can communicate with them effectively. Where suitable, create communication opportunities for children throughout the school day. For example, asking autistic children if they would like to be snack monitors and encouraging them to move around the room handing out snacks. Provide opportunities for children to make choices and communicate. For example, asking them, do you want water 
or juice. Though you should never insist on getting a verbal response before giving the child a drink. Consider your classroom environment. It's really important to think about how inclusive your classroom environment is. Autistic children can have sensory processing difficulties and can become overwhelmed by their environment. Avoid sensory overload in your classroom. Using calm colours can help children to focus. Aim to reduce the number of posters and distracting visual displays in your classroom. If you have enough room, you could include a breakout space or quiet space where children can go to relax if they are feeling overwhelmed or need time out from the sensory overload of the classroom. Wherever possible, ask the child to help you plan out the space so that it meets their needs. If a child experiences difficulties with noise, try to make sure that they are not set next to children who create high levels of noise or near an object that makes a background noise, for example, a projector. Manage routine and transitions. Autistic children benefit from having a structured environment and routine. Routine provides children with a sense of security as they know what will happen and when. Try to have a timetable for the day displayed in your classroom. Using symbols displayed on Velcro is handy as they can be changed if necessary. You might like to remove the symbols as each activity is completed. Now and Next boards can also help children to understand the routine of the day and what to expect next. Routines can often change in the classroom, so it's important to give children plenty of time to process changes to the schedule and be clear and specific about what has changed if that does happen. Daily transitions can be a struggle, such as moving from lesson to playtime. Transitions need to be as stress-free as possible for autistic children. You might like to use a timer to prepare children for when transitions are going to take place. Autistic children also need lots of support when preparing for big transitions, such as moving to a different year group. Social or visual stories, which include descriptions of what to expect, can help children to prepare themselves. Remember to talk to children about any anxieties they may have. Finally, it's really important to ask for support if you need it. Talk to your Senko about the needs of individual children and make sure that you have a copy of each child's individual support plan. Ask your Senko for advice and guidance about how to support individual children's needs in your classroom. You can also contact your local authority autism team for further support and guidance. I would really recommend taking a look at the National Autistic Society's website for further information about autism and how to support autistic children in your class.